Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome back to Blender for Noobs, and welcome back to the tutorial on designing your own car. In this part of the tutorial, part three, we're going to be setting up the background images. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. We'll save as, and let's make a new directory. Let's call it DYC for design your car. DYC underscore part three underscore background and save that. So for my workspace I have my top front and right view and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my background images. So I'm going to choose in and we want to come down here to background images check this box drop this arrow down choose add image and for the axis I'm going to choose top and open and I've created a folder here for ref images and I'll uh, include these images in a zip file in the description where you can download them if you want to use these if you use your own of course then you'll have your own so I'm going to just choose top here and come over to the front do the same thing in come down here to background images turn this on and for this I'm going to choose front open find the front view and there's my front view and same thing for the side view here in down here background images add image and for my side images it's actually a left view because if you're looking at the front of the car um, or as you're looking at the front of the car that's the left and the right but I prefer to do the right view so I took my left view and I just mirrored it in a Paint Shop Pro. So I'm going to use a right view. And there's that view. So now we need to get these images all kind of in the same 3D space. And the way we do this is I'm just going to do a control up arrow so I can see a little bit better here. And while you have your default cube selected, just S to scale and I'm going to go ahead and hit Z to get wireframe view so we can see what we're doing so probably right there as far as the um, the x-axis on the sides there and I'm going to choose S Y to scale along the Y bring that up to the very edge and it's actually pretty close which is interesting so all we need to do is move this image a little bit along the Y. So that's 0 0.1. I'm going to do a 0 0.05. Or maybe that was negative 0 0.05. Yep. Okay. So that's pretty good right there. That's not bad. The main thing you want to be concerned with right now is, is don't move your geometry, your, your cube at all. Just scale it because you don't want to get your geometry out of the uh, center point there. So control up arrow back here and we're going to go to, uh, actually let me choose in to get rid of that. And I'm going to go to the side view here, control up arrow, Z. And as you can see, our uh, length of the car is quite a bit bigger than our side view for whatever reason. So I'm going to go to the background images. And I'm just going to scale this up. so it fits that area and now we need to scale the um, Z so I'm going to choose SZ and what we're looking at really is the bottom of the car and the top of the hood here so we need to move this down this image down a little bit again not moving our actual cube so as I have sort of like a you know curve here I'm just kind of estimating that this is pretty much in the center. So we have front, back, top, and bottom as far as a cube. Control up arrow, Let's go back to our front view. Control up arrow, and Z wireframe. And we just need to move this image over a little bit. 
scale it down a little bit. And bring it down a little bit here. Maybe negative 0.45, something like that. Okay, so not perfect by any means, but hopefully we'll generally be working in the same 3D space. I mean, the whole idea is to make sure that the geometry that you're working on as you look at your background views uh, is in the same same uh, relative <laughs> 3D space, I guess you would call it. So you, uh, as you work on the side view, you're working on the same area as you would the top and the front and all that. I think I think you understand that. Anyway, so in get rid of these menus. Do Control S Quick Save, and basically we have our background views set up. So in the next part of the tutorial, part four, what we're going to be doing is starting to do a rough in on the actual modeling of the car. So I'll see you then.